Before 1982, there was no such thing as a shoulder-fired 50 caliber sniper rifle or any understanding of the limits of neon colors. Ronnie Barrett was a professional photographer. He dreamed up the beast of a weapon while he was snapping pictures of a fully automatic 50 caliber Browning machine gun. After that shoot, he was struck by inspiration for a portable individual sniper rifle, which he immediately set out to create. There was only one small problem. Barrett had zero background in engineering or building firearms, but he wasn't gonna let something minor like qualifications get in the way. He hammered out the three-dimensional design on his own. Little did he know his weapon would be knocking people off their feet for the next 40 years. If you're a fan of the 50 cal sniper rifle, check out the GOAT gun's miniature replica. Grab one as a gift or for your desk at home. Designed as a short recoil semi-automatic firearm system, meaning that the bolt and barrel are initially locked together. And when the weapon is fired, the barrel moves independently and transfers part of the recoil energy to the bolt in order to more reliably cycle through the ammunition. Later added a double baffle muzzle brake to vent exhaust gas and reduce recoil. Just in case you're looking for a quick way to blow through 100 bucks, the magazine holds 10 rounds. Each round is $10 a pop. Barrett started placing ads in gun magazines and was immediately contacted by somebody from the CIA who purchased his rifles for the Afghan Mujahideen fighting the Soviets in the 1980s. Back then, the CIA liked to troll around gun magazines looking for stuff to buy with their credit card. If the CIA is looking for a used car to buy, my 1982 Toyota Camry is still on sale. It's cheaper and way more dangerous to operate than a Barrett. In 1982, Ronnie pitched his idea to a bunch of machine shops in Tennessee, but everyone told him to get lost. Barrett persisted and eventually developed the prototype with the only machinist who agreed to help him. The weapon ended up weighing 30 pounds and had a muzzle velocity of 2,800 meters per second and an effective range of 1,800 meters. At the time, when soldiers needed to destroy enemy equipment, they needed to be near a mounted heavy machine gun. Barrett knew the US military was missing out on a portable weapon, something lighter than the Mod Deuce, but with the same power. The 50 cal sniper rifle was the perfect tool for vast open engagements which would one day become the center of future military operations. Once adopted by the Pentagon, its necessity was immediately apparent. The furthest recorded sniper shot was an American soldier, Sergeant Brian Kramer in Iraq at 2,515 yards. There are multiple stories of soldiers and Marines pinned down under enemy fire, only to be saved by a well-placed sniper round from over a mile away. Barrett eventually sold his sniper rifle to multiple militaries around the world and became one of the only seven people in the last 100 years to invent firearms adapted by the US military, alongside the likes of Eugene Stoner and John Browning. The reliable and respected Barrett 50 caliber sniper rifle is truly a success story of American ingenuity.